Can programming mutate? Can the programming of simple nanobots randomly change to create a similar effect as mutations in DNA? This question has a very similar idea as I wanted, although in this case the nanobots are capable of upgrading themselves. https colon slash slash worldbuilding.stackexchange.com slash questions slash 13213 slash nanobots dash ecosystem dash is dash it dash possible. For my story I am wondering what could cause the self-replicating process for some of the nanobots to go wrong and as with evolution some of these changes will not be beneficial but for others it will and could lead to more and more complex robots, given enough time. Is this possible that the programming for self-replication can randomly create different results? Everyone who has studied computer science in general, and artificial intelligence in particular, will know about a kind of algorithm called genetic algorithm. In computer science and operations research, a genetic algorithm GA, is a metaheuristic inspired by the process of natural selection that belongs to the larger class of evolutionary algorithms EA. Genetic algorithms are commonly used to generate high-quality solutions to optimization and search problems by relying on biologically inspired operators such as mutation, crossover and selection. Point one. John Holland introduced genetic algorithms in 1960 based on the concept of Darwin's theory of evolution. His student David E. Goldberg further extended GA in 1989. This appropriates genetics and evolution to the max. Look at the terms used in this field. In a genetic algorithm, a population of candidate solutions called individuals, creatures, or phenotypes to an optimization problem is evolved toward better solutions. Each candidate solution has a set of properties its chromosomes or genotype which can be mutated and altered. Traditionally, solutions are represented in binary as strings of zeros and ones, but other encodings are also possible. The evolution usually starts from a population of randomly generated individuals, and is an iterative process, with the population in each iteration called a generation. In each generation, the fitness of every individual in the population is evaluated. The fitness is usually the value of the objective function in the optimization problem being solved. The more fit individuals are stochastically selected from the current population, and each individual's genome is modified, recombined and possibly randomly mutated to form a new generation. The new generation of candidate solutions is then used in the next iteration of the algorithm. Commonly, the algorithm terminates when either a maximum number of generations has been produced, or a satisfactory fitness level has been reached for the population. A typical genetic algorithm requires a genetic representation of the solution domain. A fitness function to evaluate the solution domain. So if your nanobots were designed with this in mind, they may keep evolving on their own. If you delve deep into genetic algorithms, you will see that they provide weird solutions to common problems. Which tend to be the most efficient solutions, and which we humans would hardly think of on our own. For example, this antenna, evolved antenna, it appears in the wiki article called Evolved Antenna and the description for the image says this, the 2006 NASA ST-5 spacecraft antenna. This complicated shape was found by an evolutionary computer design program to create the best radiation pattern. So if your nanobots are programmed with genetic algorithms, their shapes might be irrecognizable from generation to generation. If survival is the fitness function, they will become very tough to deal with. 